You're so cute. in this room in this room we flop and then we squirm and then we go over here and then we purr and then we circle okay <laughs> that's a little better and a big flop oh how about a big flop So, Miss Eve is getting bigger. <laughs> no bum cleaning. <laughs> oh, there's a good flop. All right, we'll just do this. Closer. Oh, it's stuck on something. I got it. Oh. Where are you going? No. Oh. <laughs> you have to check out the cord that was stuck on something. Come here. And flop. There you go. That was a good one. That was a good one. All right. Let's see if we have any belly vision this morning. If we can get our little squirmy puss to stay still for any number of seconds. How are you? Oh my goodness. Are you going to have babies all over this room? I don't think so. I think she knows what to do. I'm hoping. I'm hoping she will know. Most of the time they know exactly what to do. I just happen to get the, <laughs> the few that don't. <laughs> but I think you have done this before. She goes, snack time. <laughs> That's good. <clears throat> She's not bleeding or having discharge. Nope, she just can't clean up back there and she had a few little um <laughs> cling-ons <clears throat> no no discharge we're we're a little early for discharge um but in the 
couple of days before she has babies, it certainly would be normal to see a little something back there. Not a lot, but a little something. Yeah, we think she's around two. So she's likely had babies before. I'm sure they're going to be extremely adorable, just like she is. What other updates do I have for you while, while she's having her mid-morning snack? Just asking Dr. Ferguson a question. The delightful Dr. F. A question? What? Did you hear something? Oh, he's so cute. How about one of our ferals? Happy birthday, Lady Alex. <laughs> She's not gonna have a baby today. Right, Miss Eve? She's not quite ready, hopefully. <laughs> um I have not seen Rollins since the Friday. Um, he was released Friday evening, so I haven't seen him, but it's not unusual. He was not one that came to the feeding station every day, so he came maybe a couple times a week or once a week. So um, it's not, I'm not concerned that I haven't seen him. Hopefully he'll show up in the next week. Um, the TNR20, <laughs> a 
are doing great. Um, that's the 20 kittens that have been born to our feral moms in the last couple days. Um, we've had two litters of six, one litter of five, and one litter of three that uh, is with a surrogate mom. But so far, three of the moms are taking great care of the babies, which is great. And also, uh, the three moms are the bigger litters. So, um, I just have also texted for an update on how Echo is doing this morning. Echo is the mom that had the three babies and wasn't really caring for them um, due to the stress of the situation. So, uh, we were hoping that she only had three babies in there. Um, and that we can spay her and get her back to her friends and family as soon as possible. Um, but we need to wait and make sure that she doesn't have still a few more babies in there. Yeah, so cute. That is one of the reasons that it's super helpful to have a good idea of how many babies they're having. Which we obviously can't do with the feral cats, but we can do this glorious creature. This glorious creature right here. Oh, show us your belly. Glorious wondrousness. Um, Amy's asking. <clears throat> How can I tell if a feral cat who shows up where I feed my stray lives on the property or is just passing through? That's a good question. Um, the answer is <laughs> you can't. They have pretty big territories depending on how much access they have to food and if they're male or female and how old they are. Um, if he just comes every couple of days, it's, you're likely towards the edge of his uh, territory. Um, we, as you probably have heard, have been collaring um, and tracking uh, some of our ferals as we're releasing them. And the biggest territory has been about 26 acres. Um, so, and this is with good access to food and plenty of shelter. Um, this is a male cat, stargazer, actually. Um, so, it would be hard to tell. Look at the belly. So, we've got a little bit of uh, belly vision going on. A little bit. Oh, and I should add that if you feed consistently, they sometimes will migrate closer. Um, so, we've, we've uh, pulled in a bunch of cats from neighboring properties to our feeding station just by having food out all the time. Well, not all the time, but food out daily. <laughs> yes, I think, I think she is going to have very clean kittens. She's a good baffer. Oh, look at that little sweet little mama. She's so cute. She's just so adorable. Let's see if we've got some babies in there. It's quite the belly. So again, as we get closer to active labor, when we're actually in pre-labor, you'll see it will look like um, a rolling boil. If you know what that is, it'll look like boiling water. Um, and just lots and lots of movement. So you can see there's a little movement here and there, but we're certainly not to that um, super active phase. Once you see that, you know that she's, she's moving them toward the exit. Some of them have quite a ways to travel to get closer. So she gets them all lined up during pre-labor. And then active labor starts when the first baby enters the birth canal, and that's when she'll start actively um, pushing. And after that happens, the first baby we hope is born within 20 minutes. Um, that doesn't always happen. The first one's the hardest usually. <clears throat> Um, 
it's pretty impossible to predict <clears throat> excuse me sorry allergy season um pretty impossible to predict if she'll go into labor early or late um the average gestation is 63 to 64 days um so they <clears throat> just like humans they can go a little early or a little late and we never know because we never know the day that they you know started getting pregnant so um we just guess the best we can. You're so cute. You're so adorable. Aren't you so, so cute? Um. I will certainly um, be with Eve as long as I think birth is imminent. So I think I spent the night with Calypso a few nights and with Dorothy a few nights. There's some belly vision. get everyone adjusted. So cute. <laughs> Do you smell something funny? It must be from you. So we've got a little bit of movement going on in there. The babies appear to be a good size from the uh, x-rays. Not too big, not too small. Right, little mama? Oh, you're so adorable. Aren't you just so cute? You're so cute. So cute. You're so cute. Oh, so adorable. There's some movement. If I try to touch the baby, she'll move. You should be able to see them pretty well, though. You can see the rhythmic movement of her breathing. And then you'll see a little uh, bit of a... What? A little bit about, I guess, a little bit of movement on the, sporadically, not the baby. They were really easy to see with Calypso because she had a flea allergy and was, um, had lots of bald patches. <clears throat> so you could really see the baby moving. Yes, flutter is a good word. What are the signs of pre-labor? Um, so she will get more restless. She will often dig around in her nest and kind of rearrange the blankets. Um, the babies will become more active in her belly. You'll often see uh, a contract, a light contraction here or there, <clears throat> which I'll point out as they happen. Oh, look at that belly. Um, whoops. <laughs> um, 
sometimes they get vocal, sometimes they get less vocal, sometimes they get more affectionate, sometimes they get less affectionate and more irritable. Um, each mom is kind of different. And some it's really obvious, some it's pretty subtle. Dorothy didn't do a lot of um, typical pre-labor activity. She didn't do a lot of nesting, so it was pretty hard to tell. Um, and snack time. <clears throat> um, we think five babies. There's her brisket. Where are you going? What are you doing back there? Hi. You're so cute. You even give us a flop. That's good. Good job. Um, let's see. I think that's about all I have. Cute. I may try to get some work done in here. What you looking at? What's out there? <laughs> Guard cat. Cute little guard cat. Oh, time to go check it out. Listening to birds outside. Oh, so um, maybe I'll put the VIP cam in the window because she's been up there today. <clears throat> yes, you're very cute.
What day is it? Monday? I would think we'll have babies within the week. I would think. Or a week or so again. I don't know. It's hard to tell at this stage. She still seems somewhat comfortable. Oh, you're so adorable. why she is All right, um, hmm. I think I'm going to put this in the window. <clears throat> there are a few things I need to do, and I need my <clears throat> big monitor to do them. So I can't do them down here, so yeah, I'll go do that stuff, and then maybe I'll see if I can come back. Okay, so we'll just do that. We'll put this back over here. Enjoy the kitten watch. 